All right. This is a Genstar tutorial. This is the first Genstar tutorial. And we will not be wasting time to go into basic on what is here, what is not there. But we're going straight into how to use Genstar to do certain basic analysis. Um, Genstar is a statistical package, like you already know, or you should know, or you should get to know now. And we use it basically to do analysis for various things, life sciences, health sciences, and um, physical sciences. So for today, we want to see how we can use Genstar to carry out analysis of variance. Okay? So, first of all, you have to have your data in the Genstar system before you can um, draw an analysis. Data, those things you measured during your research, during your research, those thing measurements you had, you took parameters, different parameters, you made measurements on them. There could be plant height, there could be uh, animal weight, there could be um, growth uh, changes, there could be light changes, temperature differences. You know, you took them periodically. And so when you have them in large numbers, they are called data. And those data are meant to be uh, analyzed into a readable form. And a form that people can understand and interpret. All right? So you could import that data using the Excel import wizard. Or you could import, get it, copy it, and create a new spreadsheet where you can paste this um, data that you have or impute the data directly if you have it written out on a piece of paper and for without wasting time I like to go into a, a importing using the Excel import wizard all right so the file should be located somewhere within your computer so you go to the actual point of location and pick it up and so we have this file here this Excel file for the purpose of this research this tutorial I want to rename it gen start tutorial okay so we can just easily get it all right so we want to um, open and now when you click on open you get to choose which of the sheets your data is in okay when you do that you click next and you get a preview of your data set all right if this is not the actual data set that you were anticipating to have you can go back using the back button here and then choose the other sheets before you continue next so while this is the correct one we want we just go forward and uh, we have all our columns selected if there is any selected in this area that you do not want um, to use in your studies you could just click on it and then press the back button to take it backward but for this tutorial purpose we'll need um, this so we'll put it back and probably just rem just leave it leave it let's just leave it and move forward you already know what I'm trying to say so you have nothing to do here you just leave it and move further and then you know in your studies there are something called um, variables and there's one called factors factors are those things that are constant from the beginning of the experiment you have determined them and they are constant all throughout to the end of the experiment there could be the number of varieties there could be number of treatments and under treatment we could be looking at um, fertilizer rates we could looking at um, uh, certain chemical compositions in different proportion okay and then we have the rep replicate rep stands for replicate or uh, replication okay so in this a context we want to convert this variety uh, to a factor and we're looking at a one factor experiment we're talking about CRUD for now so we want to just have uh, variety turned into a factor treatment turned into a factor rep rather 
treatment turned into a factor as well so we want to have them turn into a factor but when we get to the analysis proper we will decide what method or which will be used all right so this is a show of your data set and you have these purple uh, exclamatory signs meaning these are factors why these ones that just have names with no other symbol indicates they are variables all right so on uh, the menu tab here yeah, you have different buttons you have file i did view run data spread graphics stats tools window help on stats we can go and look for analysis of variance one and two way we choose the one and two way and then we have the one way button here we have the two way button here so we want to analyze use do analysis of variance crd by one way okay so when we talk about crd we're talking about completely randomized design which implies that the, re the research was conducted under an homogeneous environment okay under a homogeneous environment where every other factor aside from the treatment remained constant okay so we have plant height for instance and then let's take treatment as our treat factor as a factor okay treatments treatment all right so there will be no need for blocking because this is a completely randomized design so it's assumed that there is no other environmental variation or other variation aside from the treatments that were varied okay you click on options you see other and over options here and you pick the percentage coefficient of variation um, some examiners will require you to have residuals okay but for the purpose of this tutorial we'll just leave that and then we'll have our LSD at 5% if this were for life uh, health sciences they will have it at 1% but because this is for agriculture life sciences we have five percent all right so we move further and then um we determine which uh, multiple comparison method we want to use and uh, multiple comparison is determined based on the sensitivity of the level of mean separation and how many treatments you have in case of these the treatment we have just four different treatments four different type treatments so we're going to be using fisher's protected lsd because it's more preferable when you're using lsd when the treatment numbers are less than five are five or less so we want to use ascending or descending anyone is proper but for the purpose of these tutorials i'm using ascending we say okay okay yeah and then you run once you click the run button, it automatically um, analyzes it and reflects it on the output screen. Remember the output screen. This is the input log. This is the event log. Okay. So the output screen is where you get to see the results. So you click on that and then you scroll up to see your ANOVA table. All this information are okay, but they are not necessary for the interpretation of your result. They only tell you what you need to know with respect to the different data sets that have been imputed into the system so from here we can see that the uh, ANOVA table has already been calculated with the F probability uh, at 0 0.001 and according to these statistics we in our usual statistics once the F probability is less than 0 0.05 it means that the the result or the data the mean differences are significant rather so if it's less than 0 0.01 which this is it then means that it is highly significant so we want to look down and see which of them add that significance in terms of the means these are the means 103.11 99.77 98.03 92.41 by the way this is plant height so this the unit of measurement is in centimeters so here we have 103.11 having the tallest height um, and from this ranking system it shows that there is no significant difference between this and this the 1000 milligram per kg 3000 milligram per kg while all the this tree 
they are significantly different from the 4,000 milligram per kg, which implies that uh, in terms of recommendation, these will not be recommended because it's at lower, significant lower plant height. And how do you determine if this is significant from this? Is when you use the LSD and subtract from one another here. If you subtract 103.11, if you subtract 99.77 from 103.11, you will have less than 5.34. And so it's not significant. However, when you subtract any of these from this, you will have greater than 5.34. So, which implies that. Uh, there are significant differences. So this is how you do analysis of variance, see completely randomized by one way. So remember, it's just a simple process. It's not that difficult if you follow through. So if you forget anything, just play back this video and then go through the steps one by one again. All right. So don't forget to click on the subscribe button to have more of those tutorials on GenStats and every any other area of interest that you have on you find on my channel. Thank you and see you another time.